Determine the equations of the tangents to the circle x squared plus y squared equals to 25, which are parallel to the line 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. Let us begin. So here we have a circle. The equation of the circle is given to us and we have another line which is tangent to the circle. That's it. The circle has the center C and we have a line which is tangent to the circle at point A. Now, We'll, our goal will be to determine the equation of this tangent line. However, all we are given here is the equation of another line. And that line is perpendicular to the tangent line. So here we have this line, which is parallel to the tangent line. And let's say this line has the equation 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll try to first define, uh, we'll uh, define the equation of the tangent line, which is tangent to the circle at point A. We will be using the concept here that two parallel lines have equal slope. So let's try to find out the slope of the line 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. So here we are given the equation of the line 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0. This can be also rewritten as y equals to 2x plus 4. Now the reason why we're writing in this particular fashion because we're going to compare it with the slope intercept form of a line which is given by y equals to m times x plus c. So here the m represents the slope of the line so this implies that the value of the slope is going to be equals to 2. Now this is the slope of the line 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0 and since it's parallel to the tangent line so that means the tangent line is going to also have the same slope m equals to 2. So that means equation of the tangent line so what we'll do we'll again use the slope intercept form of the line so let's say the equation let the equation of the tangent line be y equals to m so m is nothing but 2 so we have 2 times x plus we'll take the y intercept as positive c we'll keep it as it is so our goal will be to determine the value of this constant c and once we have this value of c uh, then we can define the equation of the line now the question is how do we find out the value of c so here what we'll do we'll drop a perpendicular from the point c which is the center of the circle to point a or to the point of tangent we know that this uh, ca is always going to be perpendicular to the tangent line now what is ca ca is the radius of the circle and also it is the perpendicular distance of the straight line from the center well, let's say it's coordinates as h comma k. Now we know that there's a formula, the perpendicular distance ca, that's simply given by, we have the absolute value. So let's say, if we, this is a property that I'm stating here, let's say, if we denote the equation of the line as ax plus by plus c equals to zero, then we can determine the perpendicular distance by simply taking the coefficient of x of the line, which is a. This will get multiplied to the x coordinate of the center of the circle. So we have a times h. Plus, we'll take the coefficient of y of the line, so that's b. This will get multiplied to the y co coordinate of point c, so that's k. Plus the constant term c of the line, plus c, divided by the square root of, we will take the x co uh, coefficient of x, square it and add it to the coefficient of y which is b and then square it this is how we can find out the perpendicular distance ca so that means we'll be using this particular idea here for this we'll be needing the radius r which you can easily find out from the given circle and we can also find out the center of the circle so let's start with the equation of the circle so here we have the equation of the circle given by x squared plus y squared equals to 25 but we can also rewrite x squared as x minus 0 whole squared this will be added to y minus 0 whole squared equals to 25 so 25 means we can rewrite it as 5 squared the reason why we're writing in this particular fashion because we know the standard form of a circle is given by x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared equals to 5 squared fine now what we can do here is we can define the coordinate of the center of the circle does that h comma k this is the center so this is nothing but 0 comma 0 and we have the radius given by 5 units so what we'll do we'll try to rewrite the uh, assumed equation of the tangent line in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 so let's say we have y, we have here y equals to 2x plus c so this implies that we have 2x 
minus y plus c equals to 0. All we have done is we have expressed it in the form ax plus by plus e equals to 0 so that we can easily apply this particular perpendicular formula. So that means using the center, coordinate of the center and the equation of the line, our perpendicular distance ca is going to be equals to, we need the we will need the x coefficient, so that's 2. This will get multiplied to the x coordinate of the center, so that's 0. Add it to the coefficient of y, that's negative 1, multiply it to the y coordinate of the center, plus the constant c, divided by square root of 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. And what's the perpendicular distance? That's nothing but the radius of the circle, so that's 5 units, so we have 5 equals to absolute value of c divided by square root of so 2 squared plus 1, that's going to be 5, which means that c, absolute value of c comes out to be 5 times square root of 5. And what we can do here, we can get rid of the absolute value, this is going to give us 2 value plus or minus 5 times square root of 5. So that means that actually there are two tangents lines, the two tangents lines will be having the equation, so we have 2x plus c, the y will be equals to 2x plus positive c, so that's 5 times square root of 5, and we have the other one, which is y equals to 2x minus 5 times square root of 5. Fine. So these are the two equations of the tangent line, meaning, since it's already mentioned that our tangent line must be parallel to 2x minus y plus 4, or we can say that the equation of the other tangent line must be in this fashion. That means it's touching the circle at another point B and also meeting the condition that is perpendicular to 2x minus y plus 4 equals to 0.